called to a stop and I tripped out on my foot. Here we are. Go on in. All right. Tell mom I love her. All right. I love you, dad. No, make sure to come by and visit us often. No, I'm going to miss you lots. Nothing other than a blank stare. I pause a bit before reaching for the guard or handle, waiting for a form of a goodbye. But he didn't speak again. I sang through the car, hear my dad pop open the trunk. I saw the two large bags I packed last night that were large enough to carry only the things I needed. I took them out, placed one bag on each shoulder, and closed the trunk. He then drove off, leaving me alone in front of a mansion. I watched the blue car fade at the distance of the road before turning to see my new home. There it is. It's huge. My grandfather gave me this. It's hard to believe. The house was framed by a set of old gates, and I hesitantly pushed them aside to take in the entire estate. The house still looked like it was when I last visited him. Uh, at a glance, it seemed kind of intimidating with its size, though if I came closer, it was clear that there was more to it than that. The brick walls were framed by strawberry and lovely flowers, giving a homey and welcoming look. But in contrast, the tall doors in the house gave me a feeling of grandeur. Who knew what was waiting for me? Bowing back down at this moment, I took out the key to the front doors and unlocked them. Well, might as well make myself at home. I'll be staying in there for quite a while anyways. That's when I saw them. Lying on the floor was a group of men. They all were unconscious. But there was no explanation as to why they were there in the first place. I threw my box as I let the door close on its own behind me. Uh, huh? Who the heck are these guys? Why are they here? What's going on? Some of them had open wounds. The blood was staining the floor and the sun was intermingling with the air. I couldn't help but feel bad for them instinctively, but nevertheless I was shocked and a bit angry at the sudden Russian. My mouth suddenly went from caring and concerned to confused and demanding answers. Who are you guys? No response. I'll call the police! Still nothing. None of them seemed to be awake to answer or respond to me. It seems surreal to have random strangers in the house I just moved into. By one an answers quickly, that was until... Oh, get away from me! Woman, you're going to let me kiss you. I couldn't believe in myself, but within a mere blink of an eye, one of the men went from lying on the floor to being running from my face. What was even more odd was the fact that I felt serene and calm about it. Slowly, a desire burned from my chest, told me to accept his kiss, even when my mind vehemently refused. Uh, go ahead. Good. As he kissed me, I could feel my body go weak. I didn't know why, but that kiss was draining all my energy and yet it was so good and made my heart sing. It was a strange and tingling feeling that danced over every nerve of my body. I could feel streams of intangible energy run up my body into my lips. It felt odd, but at the same time, it felt amazing. Sam, stop it. Mm -hmm. The person kissing me, Sam was his name, glanced behind him. I said stop. Now. Mm. Fine. Finally, he pulled back, and I was left standing there in a daze. What? I couldn't tell what was going on. My mind was calmly unwrapped by the kiss of my thoughts that melted into the depths of my forgotten memories. Please forgive my brother. He's a bit reckless. At least I feel a hell of a lot better than you right now. Because you used your abilities on her. Sam, you're such a reckless brute. 
taking advantage of a beautiful young woman like her. Shut that pretty boy mouth of yours before I rip it off your pretty boy face. Jeez, you guys. Can we not fight right now? Not all of us are in the best state. I guess you are right, Matthew. I agree. Hmm. However, as the main Godaba started to chat freely, my thoughts began to reassemble and I remember my confusion and anger once again, only now multiply tenfold. Uh huh? Huh? Did you say something beautiful? And I exploded. What's going on? Why the hell are you all here in my house? Why are you wounded? Why did you kiss me? Who are you guys? I couldn't help exploding, but after being taken advantage of and being left in a mash state, my words escaped without filter. I definitely scared the man around me, even the man who kissed me. Wait a second, the guy who kissed me. Ouch! What's your problem? What's your problem? You can't just go around forcing people to kiss you like that. Are you some kind of pervert? Pervert? It was only a kiss. It might mean nothing to you, but it means a lot to me. What? Was it your first kiss? Ow! Hey, what was that for? I know, first kisses aren't exactly amazing and full of sparkles and some of our fairy tale, I have always expected it to be more than just something first. So it was your first kiss. Stop making such a big deal out of it. Are you asking to get punched again? Well, what do you want me to do? It's not like I can somehow take it back. How? You're just being violent now! You deserve it! Anyway, if you try to put any funny businesses in the future, just a fair warning. I know Taekwondo. <laughs> I think I have figured enough. Time to get back to the main issue. So, what exactly are all of you doing in my house? <sighs> Miss, please forgive us in our intrusion. We didn't know this abode belonged to anyone, nor did we have the time to take that into consideration. What? What do you mean? You don't just barge into people's homes! We wouldn't have had to if we weren't as wounded as we are currently. We just escaped from a deadly fight that could have ended our lives. Luckily for us, your home was near and the windows were unlocked, so we quickly came inside. The last time I remember, there were laws preventing strangers from stepping on private property. Although, considering the severity of their wounds, it had to be serious. I guess that explains the wounds, but not why he kissed me! He had absolutely no right to do that! Well, lovely flustered lady, it's hard to explain, truly. We're not exactly normal. Not normal? What are you guys? Demons or something? I ask almost jokingly, but the boys seem to take my question differently. <sighs> <laughs> well, yeah, actually, something like that. Huh? <sighs> We're incubi, miss. Demons who consume and use sexual energy of humans to survive. Huh, incubi? The fabled demons that existed to hound humans and make them sex crazed monsters? The mythical beings that can look like anyone just to get into your pants? The imaginary monsters you only saw in movies or on TV? Hello? Did you hear him? We're telling the truth. Do you think she's still processing it? Yes. And she'll understand right about- uh, Right! It was funny while it lasted. It's time to cut the joke short. Incubuses don't exist. There was no way they existed. That would be practically impossible. Ahem. Incubi is the correct plural form. And yes, we do exist. Prove it! As soon as the words left my mouth, I instantly regretted them. Very well. Eric, go ahead. 
<laughs> Very well. My sweet, you're so tempting with such non-belief. Let me ease your mind with a tender kiss. I promise, you'll enjoy every minute of it. And maybe, you'll even want more. What? Ah, uh, Once again, I was lost in a pool of calm and serenity. Staring into Eric's eyes, I felt waves of heat curse through my chest and onto my face, painting my cheeks red in their wake. I couldn't help but nod and agree to his help. Yeah, oh, okay. Mm. With another kiss, my heart began to flutter once again in my chest, and my mouth was sent spinning in a heat of passion filled flesh, yet I could feel my body drain of energy as he kissed me. Alright, that's enough. Aww, very well. <laughs> I feel so much better. As he pulled away, I was left in a mental mashful. I felt weak in the knees, despite my will demanding me to stand straight in front of the boys before me. The world around me began to spin as I tried to speak. Ah, oh, I think I'm going to... Ah, where are our manners? I'm James, and these are my brothers. Sam, Eric. Matthew and Damien. Uh -huh. Miss, are you okay? Shit. She fainted.